right guys, welcome back to Be The Fish. We are a little tired this morning. You saw those little snippets of the airport. And for those of you that do not follow me on social media, I, uh, I had a trip this past week down to Georgia for a hummingbird trip. My flight got delayed and got delayed and got delayed and got delayed last night. My plane did not get home this morning until 2 a.m. And I had a two hour drive to get here tournament day and my kbf but we're double dipping it as well because elite kayak fishing is here as well more of a regional trail in the northeast here so there's some you know decent money from the kayak on the line today we have four tournaments in out of five for my kbf so we're trying to have a good finish today to try to really uh try to put the nail in the coffin on the aoi race this year because we're leading that by a, a decent margin so we have no practice here we have uh we do have a lot of experience here. I've been out here a bunch, not this time of year, more in late summer in the fall. The place has a, a lot of bass fishing history for us New Yorkers. But yeah, I am whooped. I haven't, I slept a little bit on the plane. I literally got here 45 minutes before launch, set up the kayak, talked to my buddy Jake. Basically, we're gonna fish a derp today. So we're gonna hope for the best, no practice. We're just gonna, you know, run some waypoints we got, see if we can get a vibe on what's going on here and see what goes down, so stay tuned. We'll see what happens. All right, guys, we only have a few more minutes here. We have five minutes until launch. You can tell I'm tired. I just said launch, and I'm already launched. We got five minutes till first cast. Let's see what we can do. We got like 10 seconds. We're about to have first cast here. Just saw a large mouth swim by, like a good one, too. Here we go, 6 a.m. That's 15. Broke off on a bass. How in the world? How in the world? Here we go guys, 17.
go, guys. 17 and a half. Go guys. Eighteen. Number four. One more and we got a limit. We got three over seventeen right now. So I'll take that. I'll take that all day. Just slowly dragging this max scent creature hog. There's a limit, another 15. Now that we have a limit, I kind of want to try and throw something different at him. Also, because those hooks keep freaking bending out on me. Not the hook itself, but the, the point of the hook keeps bending out. It's weird. There we go guys, 19 and a quarter, biggest one of the day. Heck yeah, now we have one more 15 to get rid of. guys another 17 and a half I think that puts us at like 89 inches
Smallest fish is a 17 and a half. We have two 17 and a half, so we gotta get rid of them now. And I'm just gonna keep soaking this dang creature hog because I'm getting bites. They're all good ones. Alright, guys, we have 90 inches, like 90 and three quarters, something like that. Uh, we have a decent bag of all smallmouth. It is now 12.30. We have two hours left of competition. With the circumstances going into today, I am pretty pleased that one, I'm awake somehow. And then two, we have 90 inches, which is a good day out here. Uh, and game plan so far going according to plan thus far. So the plan for us today is go find one big green one. You know, try to find us a 20 incher to call that 17 and get in around 93 to 94 inches because that's a that's a really good bag out here this video is also featuring really annoying pleasure boaters as you guys have seen all video long all right we're gonna get back after we're gonna pick up a frog and honestly probably not put it down for another two hours so let's get after which is anything as long as it's a coat and like the thermal directors are siding with me, but the fishing chaos people are DQing my pictures, so it's all. Yeah, so. Oh god, hold on. I got one. Oh god. What is that? Is that a bullpen? I got a bullpen. guys it's just kind of looking like it's gonna be the end of our day here I just the bite has completely died for me might just take advantage of this free time here to uh, maybe go take a nap for 30 minutes before we go to awards go grab some water do some things we really have been needing to do so that's what I'm kind of leaning towards doing even though we got 45 minutes left as much as I don't want to quit I'm thinking about fishing my way back slow and whatever happens, you know, whatever time it is, uh, by the time I get back, I, I might just call it then. But knowing me, I'm probably gonna be stubborn and fish until 2.30, which I should. I'm just like, I am whooped, absolutely whooped and I need to go get water, I need some food, I need some shut-eye. 
We also still need to call those uh, 17s. And I still know how to catch them right now. The, that bite I had died. And the boat traffic is just insane, as you guys can see. All right. We're going to work our way back. If we don't catch anything, we will talk to you guys after awards. All right, guys, we are back. It's actually the next day after the tournament. I uh, went to awards and then ended up driving four hours up here to Lake Champlain, where I'm currently at for the next week for an Abu Garcia trip here. Uh, finally, I drove four hours and I went straight to bed, slept 10 hours, uh, feel like I need another 12. Cause literally, you know, like we explained in the introduction, like we got on the plane, it got delayed five times the night before the tournament. I was supposed to get home around 10.30 and then it was midnight and then my plane didn't end up landing until 2 a.m., which was a two and a half hour drive. Launch is at 5.30, so I had to get gas and everything like that. So like literally I showed up probably 4.45, 4.50, uh, just in time to start getting some stuff ready. Didn't have any time to sleep, so we literally did not sleep uh, at all that night. We tried, I got a little bit, like maybe 10, 15 minutes on the plane, but we fished the whole day. We grinded it out like, <laughs> There's many times throughout the day I thought about taking a nap in the kayak or going back to the truck for an hour or something like that. But I just kept my head down and uh, fished through it. And uh, some of our old spots had some fish on it. And uh, those fish were moving around a lot. You can see them on Mega Live. They're bouncing pile to pile and all that jazz. I mean, there's a bunch of boats around. But we were able to get those big bites. It was on that creature hog. They really wanted the creature hog. They didn't want a drop shot net or anything. They wanted that Berkeley Maxent creature hog. And so I was jacking them on 17 pound fluoro and a seven, six medium heavy Fantasista X. Like it was, it was a lot of fun. Uh, and then on our way in, I was actually going in 30 minutes early to take a power nap and saw that mat and fish swam out from under it. Sight fished it literally right where I launched. Watched it came out and just got another 19 inch. Not that it would have mattered. I would have won it without it, but uh, either way it was a nice little bonus large mouth on the way back in and uh, got us in first place. We won, we won again. We had three wins this year for NYKBF, two top fives. Uh, so we're sitting really good for AOI and making it really hard to beat us. So it's got me feeling good. Obviously you don't wanna feel you know safe because anything can happen, but uh, it feels pretty good going into state championships in September, knowing that uh, I got three first place and all top fives to, to back it up. So appreciate you guys coming along and uh, glad to get it done, especially when we had zero sleep straight off the plane to the tournament. And I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you've not already, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. And we'll see you guys on the next one.